My name is Brian Murphy and I play guitar on One Time Mountain and this video is going to pick up where Matt left off in the previous video and we're going to learn how to assign functions to this mixing board based on what the musicians would like to hear in their ear monitors. So we have the guitar player and the singer for an example in this video. Okay, so what we want to do is we want the guitarist to be able to control the volume of the click, cues, and samples in his on his uh, own section of the mixing board. Uh, same goes for the singer. So uh, what we're going to have to do is basically take those actions and assign them to each one of those knobs depending on where they want to be on the mixing board. So to do this, we're going to go to actions. All right. So Reaper is an awesome program, but unfortunately it does not come with the necessary uh, actions right out of the box. So I want you guys to download the SSW extensions that Matt mentioned in the last video and we need those in order to do what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to create a new action. Alright, so we're going to start off with taking the click track and sending it to the guitar player for him to be able to mix. So select only track one and track one right here so click and drag that all right now if we go to routing we're going to notice that the first thing we send is the click track to the guitarist so what we're going to do now is we are going to adjust send one volume so the volume of the first send in track one okay so oops we need to make a name for it so this one's going to be click and guitarist. Okay, now we need to arm it. So what I'm going to do, oops, get back to there. All right, custom click guitarist. So what we need to do is we're now going to assign it to the mixing board. Okay, all we have to do once the mixing board is obviously plugged in is turn the knob that we want it to be assigned to. So I'm the guitar player in One Time Mountain, and we have a click assign. All you have to do is turn the knob. It picks it up off the bat. All right, so now let's just test it out. Oh, perfect. So that works. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing except for the singer. So a really easy way to do this, just copy that. Go to it. We're going to edit it. Rename it click singer alright we'll remove the send one because the second send goes to the singer just to confirm that and we want him to have his own controls so adjust send volume boom alright so that's going to adjust the singer's send alright so now we need to assign it to the knob on the mixing board so again we just click add Alex is the singer in one time mountain uh, whoever it is in your band I suggest you label these makes it a thousand times easier so we're gonna just adjust that knob and then the computer picks it up okay all right well, let's check it out perfect now we're gonna do it for the cues and samples so custom actions new all right select only track two the cues track in this example all right now we need to adjust uh, send volume um, you don't have to type the exact thing reaper is pretty good at picking up what you're looking for so send one volume which in this one again is the guitarist so this one's going to be called cues guitarist you want to label these in the most organized way possible in case something goes wrong you can just find it easily all right so we're going to assign it oh here we go wham all right and it is picked up all right let's just let's just pretend that it's going to work perfectly for the singer we're just going to edit it singer And remove that because we want it the second send so adjust send volume two boom okay 
All right, now we want to arm it. So these are the cues. So, so we just again just turn the knob and watch the magic work. All right. All right. Now let's see what we got. All right. So we're gonna turn the knob for the singer. Perfect. And now the guitar player. Great. So, just if you guys want to see. Okay. Lastly, we're going to do the samples. So, we're going to create another custom action. And we'll call it Samples Guitarist. Now, we need to select only track 3, the samples track. All right, now adjust volume send one. All right, boom. So in this one, again, the first send is the guitarist. So there we go. All right. So now we need to arm it or assign it. All right, so we have a samples knob for me, the guitar player. And we're going to just get that in frame and turn it, and it is assigned. All right, so we're going to do the same thing for the singer. Going to edit it. Remove this. Adjust. Send. Volume. Okay. Again, we're just going to go back to reference it. The second send was the singer. So, send to volume. All right. Now we're going to assign it. Sure, okay. Alright, let's take a look, see what happens. Alright, so we're going to adjust the samples knob for the singer. Boom, perfect. Alright, and now to the guitar player. Awesome, check it out, same time, same time, baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, so those are all the ones in this example. In your own personal mixes for your own bands, you guys might have acoustic guitars, uh, any sort of things uh, going on. So, um, you, this is the steps that you take in order to achieve that just on a lot smaller scale anyways if you guys like this video please subscribe to it uh, leave us comments feedback questions anything we all want it um, thank you guys so much uh, if you guys have a second please check out the band's music videos and any extra videos thank you guys so much and uh, tune in for the next video